Look, this is what we're gonna do. So in this deck, I turned over one card. All right, so there's one card that's face up. Okay. Uh, this is what we're gonna do. So just pretend I'm gonna have all the number cards here. Mm -hmm. And then right here, I'm gonna have all the picture cards. Just point to one. Here's so all the picture cards. Card. Yeah. Now, since you picked the picture cards, mm -hmm. um, I'm just gonna have you just name any picture card. Uh, yeah. Picture card, uh, yeah. Jack of uh, Diamonds. Now, I said in this deck there's one card face up. Mm -hmm. Now, look, I'm gonna take the cards out of the box, just like this. Mm -hmm. Now, watch. Now, look, if I spread it through. Mm -hmm. So, as I was saying, in this deck, um, somewhere here, there should be one card that's face up. Mm -hmm. Keep spreading here. I think it's right here. So you see how the only card, wait, it's the Joker. Mm -hmm. Except you said the Jack of Diamonds. Mm -hmm. um, except maybe this on um, this card is used like as an indicator card. That means that the card next to it. Oh, come on, get out you of here. You can't do that, get out of here. It's the Jack of Diamonds. <laughs> I can't do that. How would you know what? I could have picked any card. Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you a way to do the invisible deck but without a gimmick deck. So this is completely, I'm on gimmick. I'll just jump right into it. So let's start with the setup, all right? So the setup here, so I took out the Joker, right? And then the setup for the deck is this, all right? So look, it's just a normal deck, but the, uh, there is a setup. So the setup is this. I'm going to have uh, three random cards. And what I've done, I'm going to stack up the face cards. So we have Jack, Queen, King. And then we have Jack, Queen, King. And we have Jack, Queen, King. And then Jack, Queen, King. And as for the suits, if you noticed, um, it goes clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. The way to remember this um, is to remember I uh, chased. All right, so that's the setup for um, all the face cards. And then all these cards are going to go on um, on top of the deck, and you're ready to go. And then the Joker, I'm um, just going to go somewhere face up in the middle. All right, so about right here, I'll put it. And then all these cards are going to go into the box. And you can set this down, I'm um, and you're ready to go. So the first thing you have to do... I'm a sum equivocate. It's just one phase of the equivocate. Um, as you're gonna force them down to the picture cards. Now the way you do it is this. I like to tell the spectator, imagine uh, right here, I'm um, have all the picture cards laid out. And then right here, I'm um, have um, all the number cards. Now just pick up one. The spectator picks up um, all the picture cards. You have them spread them. And uh, just choose um, a picture card. If the spectator uh, picks up the number cards, you say, all right, pick them up. I'm gonna just keep them. That leaves me now with all the uh, picture cards. For the rest of the phases, you would just eliminate um, all the picture cards until you're left with one. Which might uh, sound a bit confusing, but I'll explain what I mean. So if they pick the number cards, uh, you would say, just pick up all the number cards, right? Now we're left with the picture cards. Now in the picture cards, we have jacks, queens, and kings. Pick two to eliminate. And then you would keep going from there. The reason why you're doing that is because you're eliminating um, on the first phase. You wanna eliminate throughout the um, entire trick. Because what you don't wanna do is this. I have all the picture cards and then all the number cards. Pick up one. Numbers? All right, I'm gonna eliminate the numbers, which now leaves us with the pictures. Now pick a picture card. Since that is a bit confusing, and the spectators um, is probably gonna ask, uh, do I pick a picture card to eliminate? And it's gonna be confusing. So that's why I kind of keep it the same for each phase, um, if that makes any sense. At this point, um, you would go through everything and they would end up with a picture card in the performance. Um, it was uh, the Jack of Diamonds. So now at this point, all right, I'm gonna take the cards out of the box. Now I like to make um, this as fair as I possibly can, I say. All right, take the cards out of the box, no moves. And then what you're gonna do now, I'm gonna spread until you get to the Jack of Diamonds. Now the way I know where it is, is because of the stack. So what you're gonna do is this. Now the first uh, three cards are just like the random cards. Now the reason why we have these cards here um, is because if they named the Jack of Clubs and these cards weren't here, it would be on top. And now you wouldn't be able to do a call. You would have to do this and then it would, um, it would be a little too obvious. That's why I'm gonna have those uh, three cards on top. Now to find the Jack of Diamonds, uh, you're gonna push off uh, the top three cards, and then in your head, I'm gonna count Jack, Queen, King of Clubs, and then Jack, Queen, King um, of Hearts, Jack, Queen, King of Spades, and then this is the Jack of Diamonds. Now what I have to do now, I'm um, gonna something called the call. Now the way you do the call is this, right? So look, I'm gonna push off the card that I'm gonna call, in this case, the Jack of Diamonds, and then the card before it, I'm um, still sticking out a little bit. And what's gonna happen is this card's gonna cover um, up this card just like this, and it's gonna be pinched. I hear by the thumb and then all these fingers and then this packet it's going to be the thumb and all these fingers 
And what's gonna happen from the back is, is all these fingers are gonna pull back the jack of diamonds. Uh, just like that, it's gonna click. And as soon as it clicks, it's just resting on the fingers. So it's not being held like this. It's just resting underneath the spread, just like this. All right, I'm gonna keep spreading. And then as soon as I find the joker, I'm gonna out jog it. And then all I have to do with this packing now is just square up just like this and square up everything. I might get tell this pack here that this card can be used as like an indicator card, right? And the card above it is the Jack of Diamonds. Now let's look at like another um, example. So let's just say the King of Spades. All right, I'm gonna push over at the top three cards and Jack being King of Clubs and Jack being King of Hearts. Only have to push over two cards. One, two, and there's the King of Spades. All right, so same thing. I'm gonna have this card out right now. Now for the call, a good tip is to hold the deck in straddle grip because then the, if I didn't, sometimes the cards could do this and, and they would like slide back. That's why I'm having my pinky here. What you're gonna do is this, right? So the card before, um, as I was saying before, it's gonna go over, it's gonna be pinched and then it's just gonna slide back just like this. It's gonna I spread it until you find the joker and the way you load it is you out jog it and you're gonna square up everything and then show. All right guys, so just to recap again, right? So the setup for this trick is we have uh, three uh, random cards. And we have um, all the picture card stack. Now, by the way, um, if you can't remember the stack, it's fine because you could use like a different picture card stack. If you have like a different stack, you could use it. All right, just like this. And then somewhere in the deck, I have the Joker face up. All right, then all this goes on top, right? Now you start with Equivocate, you have them in the box, as we talked about earlier in the video. And at this point, they name a card, but you say like the Queen of Clubs. All right, so I'm gonna spread off. I have three cards on the count, Jack, and then right here, it's gonna be the Queen of Clubs. And then all I'm going to do is slide this card out, and it's going to go underneath the spread, just like this. It's just resting on the fingers underneath. I'm going to find the joker, and then I'm just going to outjock it, and then square up all these cards, just like this. Now, it's fine. If it's a mess, you could square it up, and you could say to the spec here, this can be used as like an indicator card. And then you could show them that the Queen of Clubs is right next to the joker. There you guys go. Uh, so that is the end of the video. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the trick. If you did, make sure you uh, like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'm also, uh, check out that video and that video. I mean, click right there to subscribe.